guys and welcome back. This is Lunar L A S M I and tonight I am opening up the second Evolving Skies Evolution Elite Trainer Box. That is a long title. <laughs> In this box we have Umbreon Flareon, Jolteon, and Leafeon on the cover. And Umbreon and Jolteon are two of my favorite evolutions. I love Umbreon so much, I have a little sleeping Umbreon right here. I'm excited to open this one up for everyone. Also, I will be reading the back of the box and doing more triggers with the box this time. So if you would like to just skip ahead, I'll put the link down below to the timestamp. Anyways, I will be doing some tapping, but I do have to say, you're getting the nubbins. <laughs> I call these my nubbins because they don't have the long nails on them. The long nails get in the way when trying to do housework, cleaning, or yard work. And they're real tough to do the yard work with the long nails, so I took them off. So I hope the sound is okay. It might not be the same sound when tapping, but we'll see. I also want to try doing some scratching sounds on the box this time, and we'll see how that sounds. Um, another thing I did for this video is I changed the lighting a bit. I have a purple light on over there because I thought maybe the lighting would help with soothing and relaxing to help you guys fall asleep. But anyways, let's get into it.
Alright, so what comes in this is it's gonna be pretty much the same as what comes in the other one and that is the dynamic power on the horizon Feel the power of the shifting winds and brace for an epic storm as mighty dragon-type Pokemon make their triumphant return Rayquaza VMAX leads the surge from on high and Deruludon VMAX towers above the land in his Gigantamax form joined by Dragonite V, Noivern V, and more as the clouds part, Eevee's evolutions appear in a full rainbow of Pokemon V and Pokemon VMAX to signal a bright new day in the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Evolving Skies The Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box includes 8 Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Evolving Skies Booster Packs 65 card sleeves featuring the Eevee's Eeveelutions 45 Pokemon TCG Energy Cards Player's Guide to Sword and Shell Evolving Skies Expansion A Pokemon TCG Rulebook 6 Damage Counter Dice 1 Competition Legal Coin Flip Die 2 Acrylic Condition Markers A Collector's Box to hold everything with 4 dividers to keep it organized And a Code Card for the Pokemon TCG Card Game Online Here is the close-up, but you'll see it once I open the box. I learned from last time my knives were too tall, so I've brought my scissors back because I know I can trust them a lot more than the knife. has a really lovely silver metallic embossing on the front and this is our player's guide it tells you about some of these Pokemon cards and gives you a nice look at them too appreciate all the effort they put into these Having a book like this is really nice So you can like check off What you're wanting to get Okay, 
here's the little places where you put the check if you have it. And these are all the cards in the set. are the dice from this set. They are orange and yellow with black writing. And then the competition legal dice is a black opaque dice with green on it. I'm not sure what this symbol is. There we go. I'm not sure what this symbol is. I don't know if it's supposed to be a fancy Rayquaza or what. If anyone knows, please let me know. But anyways, this is like the Halloween dice. Let's do that. And I do have the dice from the other box and it is like a light blue and dark blue. You can't quite see it. No, you can't quite see it on camera. But here is the competition legal dice and it's very espion looking. At first, when I had first looked at the symbol on this one, I thought, well, maybe it's Mew. But then when I saw this one, I was like, Rayquaza? Or maybe it's no Pokemon at all. Maybe it's just a symbol. But anyways, I really love this dice. And I really love this dice. I like them together. I feel like I'm starting to get a dice collection because I also have all of my Yu-Gi-Oh dice. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the damage counters. I never showed these last time out of the bag, so I wanted to show them this time. They look really nice. These remind me of um, Pogs, I think they're called. My sister used to have them, like a lot of them. And this reminds me of So, like last time, I'm going to cut the tops off of these, but first I want to put them into order of pack. We have a 
Guardian, a Rayquaza, a Drudu, <laughs> Dru hang on, Druludan, Distribution this time. Alright, let's start with cutting these back tops off. Taking glass, swoo bat, shell. Oh, it is shell gun. Shell gun. I don't have this card. Hitmonchan, Lotad, Sableye, Diddy Ursa, Mareep, and Eskew. And what? What are you? Apple tune. It's a hot little apple pie. from cutie fly. After finding out I'm allergic to mosquitoes, I take back saying this is cute. <laughs> Flaffy. I've never seen this art for Flaffy. I like the coloring. The dark sky and then the light flowers. Pyroar. Carvana Oh, that's so cute Gossifler Fledgling A Scraggy Spirit 
mask is kind of creepy. Ooh. Articuno. Galarian Articuno. I don't think I've seen most of the Galarian Pokemon. This way, and then set it off to the side for when I sleeve them. Same thing with the mask. Alright, so I think I'm gonna leave the UV Lucians for last. That's actually kind of a cute card. We're well, not cute, but pretty. The backdrop. Low Dad. Did Ursa. Cry Gone. The one that I don't know if it's sad or if it's happy. Nicket. Toy catcher and Sharpedo. Uh, let's open Sylveon. One, two, three, four. We haven't got an electric energy, so nope, <laughs> it's water. Single Strike, Scroll of the Fang Dragon, Ursa Ring, Stormy Mountains, Hippopotas, Time Pole. So cute, so happy. Lit Leo. Oh, it's our first Eevee. I like that Eevee's looking up at her claws. There's the cutie fly. Nozzle leaf and Trumpa. Look at 
bad. It's crazy. Face care, full face guard, hypno, Sora, tentacle, whoopee, <laughs> Dineo, Marip, copycat, ooh, Sora. Correct, I believe this. If I'm correct, I believe this is the Zoark that I have used in my dark deck. Once during your turn, you may choose a stage one Pokemon except in your Zoark for your discard pile. If you do, discard this Pokemon and all attached cards and put the chosen Pokemon in its place. Yes. Andreon packs now. <laughs> Gordy <laughs> Prevary Nuzzly Love Disc Fletchling Chincho Patelli Daniel Ooh. Rapid Strikes Scroll of the Flame Dragon and what? I don't know this one. Gigalith. Crazy looking. Our last pack. Just want one Umbreon. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Hmm. Psychic? No, that is metal or steel. Hurt her. Spirit mask. Bitold Tentacle Pikachu Sea Dot Lilipuff Bygone Lodad and Gorgeist.
like I always do, I'm going to read the cards for you. And this time I'm going to be reading the flavor text on the cards. Now the cards I have here are a mix of cards from the first box and the current box because I wanted to have all the cards from each set and also this way I have like the evolutions and I can read what they say about them for the flavor text. I hope you guys enjoy, so I'm going to start reading now. I will say with um, the sleeves in person, it gives it a glare so it is hard to read. So see if I can read it on my phone. Galerian Articuno. Known as Articuno, this Pokemon fires beams that can immobilize opponents as if they had been frozen solid. its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. Fletchling. Its body is always warm. Trainers who live in cold areas apparently sleep with it in their bed. That's kind of cute. Fletchinder. Its speed, right after takeoff, already puts it in the top speed class of all bird Pokemon. It does look like it would be a speedy one. Lulipup. This Pokemon is popular with beginners because it's intelligent, obedient to its trainer's commands, and easy to raise. Herder. It has been living with people for so long that portrayals of it can be found on the walls of caves from long, long ago. Rufflet. A combative Pokemon. It's ready to pick a fight with anyone. It has talons that can crush hard berries. Not expecting that flavor text for such a cute card. <laughs> Bravery. Because this Pokemon is hot headed and belligerent, it's Corviknight that's taken the role of the transportation in Galar. I can see that now. Tidiersa. Before food becomes scarce in the winter time, its habit is to hoard food in many hidden locations. Esarine. Although it has a large body, it is quite skilled at climbing trees. It eats and sleeps in the treetops. That reminds me of a bear video I saw recently. A mama bear had chased a black bear up the tree, far, far up the tree, and she did it so fast, vigor off. Its stress level rises if it cannot keep moving constantly. Too much stress makes it feel sick. It's a little sad. <laughs> Slacking. It is the world's most slothful Pokemon. However, it can exert, exert horrifying power by releasing pent-up energy all at once. Bergmite. This Pokemon lives in areas of frigid cold. It secures itself to the back of a Avalon, 
by freezing its feet in place. So it attaches itself to its evolution form. Avalon. As Avalon moves about during the day, the cracks on its body dis deepen. The Pokemon's body returns to a pristine state overnight. That has to hurt. No wonder he looks angry. As he moves, he cracks. Carvana. With its sturdy jaws and fangs, it can easily chomp wooden boats to splinters. It fights with Basculin over food. Sharpedo. It drinks in seawater and jets it from its rear to propel itself. It's very sensitive to the scent of blood. Cryogonal, they are composed of ice crystals. They capture prey with the chains of ice, freezing the prey at negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so it catches it with these. So that is its face, so it's happy. Well, that's good to know. It's a happy little murderer. <laughs> I skew. This Pokemon keeps its heat-sensitive head cool with ice. It fishes for its food, dangling its single hair into the sea to lure in prey. Interesting. Phoebus. It is a shabby and ugly Pokemon, however, it's very hardy can survive on little water. <laughs> oh. Don't call it shabby. You're beautiful. Lotad. Its leaf grew too big for it to live on land. That is how it began to live floating in the water. Lumbre. It lives at the water's edge where it is sunny. It sleeps on a bed of water grass by day and becomes active at night. Love Disc. Love Disc makes its home in coral reefs in warm seas, especially like sleeping in the space between Corsola branches. That's cute. Psyduck. It has been found that its brain cells are ten times more active when Psyduck is experiencing a headache. <laughs> Gold Duck. A professional swimmer, it can continue swimming for two days straight by waving its long tail skillfully. Tentacool. Its body is ninety percent. No, oh, its body is ninety-nine percent water. The remaining one percent contains the organ that makes its poison. Tentacruel. It communicates with others of its kind by lighting up the red orbs on its head. When the orbs are blinking, it's warning signs. Time pull. It uses sound waves to communicate with others of its kind. People and other Pokemon species can't hear its cries of warning. 
Pipple Toad. On occasion, their cries are very sublimely pleasing to the ear. Pipple Toad, with larger lumps on their bodies, can sing with a wider range of sounds. Twipple. It first tries to find a rock to live in. But if there are no suitable rocks to be found, Dwipple may move into the ports of a hippo wodon. Crystal. Its thick claws are its greatest weapon. They're mighty enough to crack Ryapure. Carcapes? Gossifuller? It whirls around in the wind while singing a joyous song. The delightful display has charmed many into raising this Pokemon. Hopi. It drifts on winds. It is said that when Hopi gather to fields and mountains, spring is on the way. Skiploom. It spreads its petals to absorb sunlight. It also floats in the air to get closer to the sun. Patilli. They prefer clean water and soil. When the environment they live in turns bad, the whole bunch will up and move to a new area. Dot. It attaches itself to a tree branch using the top of its head. Strong winds can sometimes make it fall. Chinchu. On the dark ocean floor, its only means of communication is constantly flashing lights. Mareep. Rubbing its fleece generates electricity. You'll want to pet it because it's cute, but if you use your bare hand, you'll get a painful shock. Flaffily. Flaffy. <laughs> it stores electricity in its fluffy fleece. It stores up too much, it will start to go bald in those patches. <laughs> Amphros. Its tail shines bright and strong. It has been prized since long ago as a beacon for sailors. Wait. Do they want its tail? Or do they want the Pokemon itself? Pikachu. When Pikachu meet, they touch their tails together and exchange electricity through them as a form of greeting. Let Leo. This hot-blooded Pokemon is filled with curiosity. When it's angry or starts fighting, its short mane gets hot. Pyroar. The temperature of its breath is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but Pyroar doesn't use it on its prey. This Pokemon prefers to eat raw meat. No barbecue, I'm guessing. Hippopotas. This Pokemon is active during the day and passes the cold desert nights burrowed snugly into the sand. Munchen. Its punches slice the air, however, it seems to need a short break after fighting for three minutes. Rog generala. When it detects a noise, it starts to move. The energy core inside it makes this Pokemon slightly warm to the touch. Gugalith. 
Gigalith. Although its energy blast can blow away a dump truck, they have a limitation. They can only be fired when the sun is out. Nick it. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail as it makes off with the food. Thievil. With a lethal body and sharp claws, it goes around stealing food and eggs. Boltud is its natural enemy. Nuzzleaf. They live in holes borrowed in trees. The sound of Nuzzleaf's grass flute fills listeners with dread. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Scraggy. It protects itself with durable skin. It's thought that this Pokemon will evolve once its skin is completely stretched out. Zorua. If a normally talkative child suddenly stops talking, it may have been replaced by Zora. Interesting. Zorark. If it thinks humans are going to discover its den, Zorark shows them a vision that makes them wander around in the woods. This picture kind of makes it look like it's doing that currently. Cutiefly. And an opponent's aura can tell Cutiefly what that opponent's next move will be. Then Cutiefly can glide around the attack and strike back. Rubombi. Rubombi absolutely hate getting wet or rained on. In the cloudy Galera region, they are very seldom seen. Drowsy. It puts its prey to sleep, then devours their dreams. It seems that bad dreams taste sour to Drowsy. Doesn't particularly like eating them. So it's only going to eat your good dreams. I don't know if I would want that Pokemon in my house. Hypno. There is some Hypno that assist doctors with patients who can't sleep at night in the hospital. That's very contradictory to the sky. Flabebe. Flabebe wears a crown made from pollen. It's collected from its flowers. The crown has hidden healing properties. Pumpkaboo. The light that streams out from the holes in the pumpkins can hypnotize and control the people and Pokemon that see it. Gorgeis. In the darkness of a new moon night, Gorgeis will come knocking. Whoever answers the door will be swept off into the afterlife. That's horrifying. That's horrifying. Don't uh, answer the door. Sableye. It feeds on gemstone crystals in darkness. Its eyes sparkle with the glitter of the jewel. Swoobat. The auspicious shape of this Pokemon's nose apparently led some regions to consider Swoobat a symbol of good luck. Love effect. To keep its pitch black tail hidden, it lives quietly in the darkness. It's never first to attack. I didn't know it wanted to hide its tail. Appletoon. Its body is covered in sweet nectar, and 
its skin on its back is especially yummy. <laughs> Children used to have it as a snack. You eat them? <laughs> I mean, it does look like a giant pie, but... <laughs> Do you know? Because it can't see, this Pokemon is constantly biting at everything it touches, trying to keep track of its surroundings. It's a little sad. Drompa. Drompa is a kind and friendly Pokemon. Up until it's angered. When that happens, it stirs up a gale that and flattens everything around. It looks like it's angry right now. Shelgon. Shelgon lives deep within caves. It stays shut up on its hard shell, dreaming of the day it will be able to fly. It's very determined. Bygone. Some theories suggest that its behavior of forcefully bashing its head into things stimulates stuff that affects its evolution. Anyways guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching this opening. I do have to say one thing. Uh, the sleeves. These sleeves that I got. All of the bottoms of the sleeves are actually not sealed properly. So the cards can slip through. I don't think that's an issue with all the boxes because like the other box didn't have that issue. So it might have just been a factory error. Um, I'm really excited. I got some cards that I wanted. I really wanted the Zoark and a Galarian Articuno was on my list of things that I was wanting. Um, do you have a favorite new Pokemon or old Pokemon? Also, is there a Pokemon you would like to see them do a new form for? Like they did with the Lowen and the Galarian Pokemon? Is there one that comes to mind for you guys? I did get a lot of commons, which I'm excited about purely because of the art videos that I do. This has given me even more to go off of. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this and were able to relax and feel comfortable with the lighting and the reading. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Good night, my little night elves, and sleep well. Until next time, bye bye.